Early, with ocean fog still in the streets, outlaw motorcyclists wearing chains, shades, and greasy Levi's roll out from damp garages, all-night diners, and cast off one-night pads in Frisco, Hollywood, Purdue, and East Oakland, heading for the Monterey Peninsula, north of Big Sur. The menace is loose again, the Hell's Angels, the hundred-carat headline running fast and loud on the early morning freeway, low in the saddle, nobody smiles, jamming crazy through traffic and 90 miles an hour down the center stripe, missing by inches, like Genghis Kong on an iron horse, a monster steed with a fiery anus, flat out through the eye of a beer can and up your daughter's leg with no quarter asked and none given. Show the square some class, give them a whiff of those kicks they'll never know. Ah, these righteous dudes, they love to screw it on. Little Jesus, The Gimp, Chocolate George, Buzzard, Zorro, Hambo, Clean Cut, Tiny, Terry the Tramp, Frenchie, Moldy Marvin, Mother Miles, Dirty Ed, Chuck the Duck, Fat Freddy, Filthy Phil, Charger Charlie the Child Molester, Crazy Cross, Puff, Magoo, Animal, and at least a hundred more, tense for the action, long hair in the wind, beards and bandanas flapping, earrings, armpits, chain whips, swastikas, and stripped down Harleys flashing chrome as traffic on 101 moves over, nervous to let the formation pass like a burst of dirty thunder. The run was on. Outlaws from all over the state rolled in packs towards Monterey, north from San Bernardino and Los Angeles on 101, south from Sacramento on 50, south from Oakland, Hayward, and Richmond on 17, and from Frisco on the Coast Highway. The hardcore, the outlaw elite, were the Hell's Angels, wearing the winged death's head on the back of their sleeveless jackets and packing their mamas behind them on big chopped hogs. They rode with a fine, unwashed arrogance, secure in their reputation as the rottenest motorcycle gang in the whole history of Christendom. From San Francisco, in a separate formation, came the Gypsy Jokers, three dozen in all, the number two outlaw club in California, starved for publicity, and with only one chapter, the Jokers could still look down on such as the Presidents, Road Rats, Night Riders, and Question Marks, also from the Bay Area. Gomorrah, with Sodom 500 miles to the south in the vast mad bowl of Los Angeles, home turf of the Satan Slaves, number three in the outlaw hierarchy, custom bike specialist with a taste for the flesh of young dogs, flashy headbands, and tender young blondes with lobotomy eyes. The slaves were the class of Los Angeles, and their women clung tight to the leather backs of these dog-eating, crotch-busting fools as they headed north for their annual party with the Hell's Angels who even then viewed the L.A. bunch with friendly condescension, which the slaves didn't mind, for they could dump with impunity on the other southern clubs. The coffin cheaters, iron horsemen, galloping gooses, comancheros, stray satans, and a homeless fringe element of human canker so foul that not even the outlaw clubs, north or south, would claim them except in a fight when an extra chain or beer bottle might make a crucial difference.